Hi, today I'm very excited with the help of Emmy to show you guys some Yoshi crafts. The first craft we're starting with are the Yoshi string lights I just showed you guys. And we bought a uh, two dozen of these little white plastic eggs. This is a great time of year to do these crafts because it's all just Easter stuff. And we used a hot glue gun and the end of a paintbrush to poke some big holes in the top. This is where our string lights are going to go. And just to make sure everything was nice and even, we mod podged the eggs as we poked the holes in them. We did the top and bottom half. We did all the Yoshi colors, so we needed plenty of eggs to make two of each. There were a couple extra eggs, just in case you need them. So we Mod Podged all of the eggs together as well. And this was an okay glue to use because after we painted everything, we went ahead and we're going to seal it again with more Mod Podge. So there ended up being several layers on these eggs. And since we used a sponge for a lot of the painting that we're doing here, it did leave some air bubbles that you're either going to have to pop as you go along or you're going to have to add quite a few coats of paint on these eggs. Here you can see all of the eggs we ended up with, and this was the best solution we came up with for letting them all dry. And once they were dry, you can see we used a paper clip to kind of hold the egg in place by poking it through the two little holes that already came on the egg, and then we Mod Podged the whole egg together as a solid egg, I guess. <laughs> And we did at least two coats of the Mod Podge on top. Once all the eggs were Mod Podged, we did a time lapse here of us really kind of struggling to put all the eggs back onto the string lights. Uh, you can see we had to heat up the eggs a little bit more and open up the hole again because while we were painting some of them, it made it just barely too small for the egg to fit through. But it wasn't a huge problem, we just opened it up a little bit and rounded it out. And we squished all the lights on there and hot glued them in place. We made sure that they were all facing the right direction as we were doing this, by the way, because we wanted the prettiest spots to be showing when we hung the lights up. Emmy is the big Yoshi fan here, so she took home all of these DIYs and displayed them in her room. So the footage you're going to see right now is how very cutely she hung them up on her desk and they're just a cute rainbow decoration during the day and at night in the dark it looks so cool with all the glowing eggs i'm so happy with how this turned out for the next craft we had an idea for kind of a yoshi trinket bowl you could put your little stuffed yoshis in it or little q-tips or cotton balls or whatever you wanted to put in it and so we found this paper mache egg at Hobby Lobby. I don't love this egg, so you might want to just like paper mache a balloon and pop it so it's an egg shape or something because we mod podged it. And then we went to cut open the top and discovered that they had paper mache this very thick black plastic egg. And this egg, I just could not cut through it. We cut, we tried and tried and tried. This exacto blade wasn't cutting through it. It was a process. The edges ended up really sharp in the end. So it was a little rough, but we did eventually manage to heat up a knife with my hair straightener and cut through the egg. So be very careful doing this. If you use this egg, please be careful. <laughs> we eventually got the top off of the egg and we had to file down some of the edges before we mixed white paint and Mod Podge and did a coat Put it, we put the paper back over the plastic, but I think we also made a mistake there because it ended up a little wrinkled. So maybe if you do have this plastic egg, you want to leave the paper off. I don't know. Use your best judgment, I guess. But we did several coats of the white paint and Mod Podge on the egg, letting it dry for at least a few hours between each coat because it is a mix of paint and Mod Podge. So it'd be like that. The second to last step was to put these green Yoshi colored spots 
on the egg, I kind of just randomly placed them. I used a big sponge brush here. I don't know if you can tell how big this egg is for perspective wise compared to the pencil. And then I matched up the edges and made sure all the dots overlapped correctly. And it's not shown here, but you should go over this again with a layer of just the regular Mod Podge to seal everything in. And then your egg is done. Emmy is currently using this egg to hold little toothpicks, and the top half of the egg fits nicely on top of her Furby's head. The last, easiest, quickest craft out of all of these that we did involved the Poochies and the Mama Poochie, and these are going to be felt fridge magnets, which I am excited about. Who doesn't want felt Poochie magnets? So we traced the design onto each of the pieces of felt in all the different colors I was tracing while Emmy cut it out. This is a good team project. These are all pretty good team projects. While Emmy cut stuff out, I tried really hard to trace all of the individual accents and pieces in different colored foam and keep all the propor proportions correct because in the end we are going to stack this up so it is a bit of a 3D design rather than trying to like stitch together all the edges or you know do something overly complicated it's just cute and simple and fun the most challenging part of this craft was matching up all the little pieces and edges and making sure everything was layered in the correct spot Having my little tablet there was very handy for tracing and matching up the pieces. And we started with the Mama Poochie, and we used some E6000 glue. Mine was for jewelry and beads, but I don't think it really makes a difference. But, you know, it's just gluing it on there. We thought it would be a little less chunky than, like, hot glue. So we used that, and we did all the Poochie babies as well. We tried to keep, again I'm going to say it, pro proportioned, we tried to keep them in proportion to each other so that the babies would be the correct size for the mama. As you can see from the video, at this point we looked at the magnets and decided to add the black outlining that the mama poochie had. The babies don't actually have this outline in the new game, but we wanted them all to match so we added it, so I would say this step is really optional depending on what aesthetic you want your poochies to have. The last step for these felt poochie magnets was just turning over the magnets to the wrong side, which was the side I traced the designs onto, and then using the same E6000 glue to glue these little magnets that I also got from Hobby Lobby onto the back. These are very strong magnets and perfect for this craft. Emmy put these on her fridge in such a cute way. I love that they're running on top of this drawing of the orange Yoshi and as you can see they all match and look really cute together. Those are the three projects we did in honor of the new Yoshi game so if you like them and you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty content and I will see you soon. Bye! You're gonna get like three comments throw. I really hope she cuts her hands off. One will be me. <laughs> I'll comment and be like, isn't that you? <laughs> and you'll be like, no, I wasn't even there that day. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. Oh, I took a girl to my house and did Yoshi crafts with her and she wasn't my friend. <laughs> she stole my friend's identity so she could do Yoshi crafts with me. Which is very on brand for who I am. <laughs> so she's got that down. <laughs>